Hey, it's Soleil, and this is episode 208 of the Orange Pill Investor. And today I want to talk about what to do when the bottom drops out of a stock. It's um, one complaint that I hear about selling covered calls because what do you do when the price drops and then you can't get any good premium and you're just stuck holding a stock that's not not letting you sell covered calls against it, which the obvious, the obvious uh, counter to that should just be, well, what about when you just buy the stock outright and the price goes down? You can just sit on your hands and, and wait or dollar cost average into it you know, as you see fit. But at least if you sold a covered call against it, you would lose less money than the person who didn't. So I'm not sure why people make these kind of arguments. Um, I think their DNA is weak and they probably won't survive the fourth turning. So I'm just going to discuss what I do in these situations. And um, I'm not saying I, I enjoy it, but it's not the end of the world. So in this account, I was assigned over the weekend an extra share, 100 shares of CLSK. My average cost, and this is not including premiums that I've paid. Robinhood is not sophisticated enough to um, calculate those in. But I think I got assigned at $12 and I had another one for like 18. I think my cost was 18 or 19 before that. So it averaged out to 15.75. And if I try to sell weekly options on this, there's no way in hell I'll be able to get anywhere close to 1575. But at the same time, I need to manage this call because I got a, <laughs> I saw, I probably sold it for 10. Yeah. So over a week, I'm supposed to get 10 cents. But now if I hold it for, for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm only going to get the last two cents. So that's, that's not really worth it. So I could roll this out to next week. But like I said, if I try to get anywhere near 15, there's just no premium to be had here. So that doesn't make any sense. Plus the theta curve is better at the money. So I could be a complete degenerate and just sell, you know, at the money, reduce my cost basis by 47 cents. Um, that would match up with the weekly <clears throat> theta curve. But I would probably, you know, I'm going to try this two different ways. I would probably build in maybe 1%, uh, excuse me, 10% call away value. So I'll probably go to the 10. Now this is risking losing, what, $575 a share if if the price does rally past 10 next week. But the mistake, to me, that's not the mistake. The mistake was buying a stock at 1575 that plummeted to eight. And that mistake has already been made. So I don't like to let past mistakes prevent me from making future profits. So I could go to next week and I could book 2% for basically nine days nine trading days and that that seems reasonable to me but if i go out to approximately 45 days it's wednesday so it's actually 44 i can probably get close to that 15 yeah so i can collect 20 at 14. now the deal with this is you generally try to collect half of this every two weeks so it's really going to be a fourth of this per week so that's not a lot of premium if i try to collect one percent a week then that's going to be four times approximately nine four times 882 but four times nine is 27. so whereas i could sell the ten dollar weekly i could probably sell the 13 and collect Seven, seven cents a week. And then the worst case scenario is I would have to sell them short at 13. Uh, 
Let's see. Definitely not rolling. Well, I could. I could roll to the nine and a half strike and collect another 1% for half a week. Let's just go out to next week. 10 bucks, 2%. So I will sell this one for the uh, for the hundred shares that I was assigned. Let's see if this fills at the mid price. No. All right. Go ahead and hit the bid. Got a fill. Now let's manage this worthless call. Close this for, this is a little bit annoying because I'm gonna have to close it for two. Earlier it was one. And I think on this one, I'll go out to, let's go out to 45 days. And let's see, as long as I'm collecting here, this is getting me over 1% a week. It's four times eight is 32. And it's not a terrible strike here. The price rallies back over 12, I'm getting an extra 300 bucks here, even though I'm potentially losing uh, relative to what Robinhood is saying is my cost basis. But this is reasonable, I think. So I'm gonna do one with one strategy, the weekly with 10% call away value, and I'll do the other 100 shares this way. Of course, it doesn't wanna fill. There we go. All right, let's refresh. These are both of the strategies that I employ. So my average cost is 1575. By selling covered calls below this, yes, I am absolutely risking losing money. But to a certain extent, I've already lost the money. It's, you know, you buy something for 1500 and then the price goes to 880. You, your account value goes down. That's just how it works. So I can collect 2% for seven trading days here. And I'm going to collect four point something percent here, but I'm only going to be able to actually collect half of that every two to three weeks. That's how I do it. I don't bag hold. Some people will sit here, you know, just sit on their hands and not sell covered calls against this. Um, that could work if you get lucky, but if CLSK just stays here forever, uh, then that would be a losing strategy. And I don't like sitting around and waiting. All right, let's just double check. I got 200 shares of CLSK. I now have two covered calls. I got 600 shares of Riot. I have six covered calls. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I purchased one of these. I tried to place an order earlier. Yeah, good. Five hours ago. So I'm getting wrecked on my long calls here as well. So I dollar cost averaged into these 221.25. 
380 strike calls. I think my dollar cost average was four something. So I was able to snag one at 220, bringing my average cost down to 370. Tempted to get another one. But while the price is down, I wonder, see, Robinhood is a little shady in their, um, what was a margin buffer? Margin buffer is 500. You have available margin is 2000, which you may use. So what's the difference between the margin and the margin buffer? That doesn't make any damn sense. All right, so let's see what would happen if I tried to place a, a try to sell a put on CLSK and dollar cost average this bad boy down even more. That's probably see now it's saying the buying power I have available. It's only 500 bucks. Why is that? This is what I'm saying. Robin Hood is cray. So this is actually my buying power, apparently. Let's riot down to riots down to 680. What happens if I try to sell? Put and riot. Yeah, it's still the same, saying the same thing. $500 in buying power. All right. I guess I'm at my limit for, uh, for margin. I mean, I could go down here, go out to 45 days and probably sell a $5. I could do this with the last $500 of my buying power. <laughs> and collect 16 which would be three percent collect half of that every two weeks no i don't think that's worth it oh let me just check the main account real quick is there anything useless in here so these covered calls that I sold for 400, the trading week is half over and they're only worth about 25% of it. A little less than 1% for half a week. Hmm. It still works out to about 1% if I prorate that out, out over a whole week. But let's do this. Let's close. Close them all, close half. Let's close them all. Do I want to deal with this bid ask spread? Getting in and out of this trade might be more trouble than it's worth. Let me just see what I would roll these for. If I roll them to the at the money strikes, I can collect 325 per option. And if I use that to buy more long calls, those are 200. So I could buy one and a half long calls for every one that I rolled down. And the deltas on these are about 0.08. So adding 20. 
1.6. I could add 160 delta to this position. What to do, what to do. Let's close two of them. Let's just run a little experiment. All right, I only got 20 of these bad boys. So let's sell two covered calls at the money again. I'm gonna roll down. I am risking the price rallying. But collected 500 bucks there. And then if I take the 500 and buy two, Long calls, I'll be increasing my leveraged long position. Come on, Phil, you bastard. You rat bastard. There we go. I guess they just wanted the whole 500. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so I'll leave the other 20 as is. Let's see what's going on in, well, is that everything I needed to do here? Yeah, I'll let these ride. Collecting a hundred bucks for the rest of the week is not terrible. And if the price does return back to 130s, then I don't get whipsawed here. Tesla, oh, Tesla rebounded a little bit. That's cool. All right, the IRA account. I'm in the same situation here, but the IRA, I don't really fuss with too much. I don't, there's enough here to not deal with it. All right, join account. This is that debit spread I sold. This looks like it is trash. I mean, I've got 190 days for this to, to come back around. But um, let's see, what did I do here? Oh, yeah, I think I sold. <laughs> what did I do? I sold the uh, 144 puts. So this is likely to get assigned. That's for sure. And I'll be selling covered calls on this with a 144 cost basis minus 14. So what's that? 130. That won't be too bad. And then I have some long calls. These are underwater. And another and one leaps that is also slightly underwater. That's the other thing too. So these short shorter dated long calls their price collapses way more you know way faster than these leaps so i only lost about 10 percent of my value 180 yeah 10 20 percent of my value here whereas these dropped in half so you can get more delta per dollar here, but that just means the, you're also leveraged to the downside faster. But I think that's, well, wait, is that it? Do I have anything else that's useless? Oh yeah, these, oh shit, all of these riot calls are useless. Let's close all these. Well, I can't even get a fill at one. 
Oh, because some people are asking too. And what did I sell them for? I sold them for 10. Yeah. Let's just see what I can get for these anyway. And what my cost basis is. Cost basis says 965. So there's no way I'll be able to sell weeklies anywhere near that. But if I want to sell you know, at the money nine days for next week, 10% call away value would be about 70 cents. So at the 750, I can get 3%. That is not terrible with 10% call away value. Or I can go to 44 days. And get. What's my cost basis? Approximately nine. Yeah, so I could get. Decent premium here. So let's just do that. Let's get six. And I'm just going to, well, let's, let's see what happens. See if I can get a fill. Are they going to make me go to um, 28? Of course they are. All right. That actually gives me enough buying power. <laughs> To sell an at the money put in Riot. So, what the hell, right? I get 1% for the rest of the week. But what about CLSK? This is totally annoying. That tells me I have 3,000 in buying power, but 500 buying power. <laughs> All right. So, what if I tried to sell a $6 put in Clean Spark? What would that look like? Nothing. But I could go out 45 days. I can sell a six and get 17, whereas I can sell a six and a half in Riot and get eight for the rest of the week. Let's just do that. And of course I have to actually sell it for seven, but 1% for half a week is not terrible. All right, I have ridiculously low amount of buying power now. So dangerously close to a margin call. That would be fun. Any other useless call options that, or puts that I have? Nope. Everything else looks all right. Okay, that's it for now. Be good, y'all.